Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Psycho, and I am back with another Better Call Saul video for you all today. And I actually haven't posted a Better Call Saul video in a pretty long time. And I just wanted to make this video because I thought not only was the news interesting, but I want to continue covering this show because I feel like it is definitely underrated and not enough people are talking about it and it's not getting the credit it deserves. But moving on to the main topic of this video, there was recently an interview with the AV Club and Vince Gilligan where a few questions were asked regarding Season 4 and the future of certain characters. More specifically, the future of Chuck. I'm just going to discuss the one specific question regarding this topic, so I'm going to basically hone in on that one part of the interview and read a little bit of it off to you guys. And I'll link it down in the description for you guys to check it out as well, because it's a good article and it gives us some news on Better Call Saul, which we really haven't gotten a lot of lately. It starts off by the AV Club stating, we're talking the day after the Screen Actor Guild Awards, where Bob Odenkirk was nominated for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Drama Series, but didn't win. He's been nominated in the Emmy and Golden Globe categories for all three seasons of Better Call Saul, but hasn't won there either. What's it going to take for him to get one of these awards? Vince Gilligan then states, I'm usually a glass half empty guy as I slog through life, but I think this is nothing but heartening. They used to call this a golden age of television, and now I think it's being rebranded as the platinum age. David Bianca Lee, I think, was the fellow who coined that phrase. I buy into it. There's so much good television on. So many great shows, so many great actors in these shows, and the competition is so fierce. Listen, I'm biased as hell. I'd love to see him win. I would think that would indicate that all was right with the world. But the fact that he's in the running, he himself, not to speak for him, would say, it's an honor just to be nominated. That's an old saw in terms of expressions, but when we start getting nominated for Emmys for Breaking Bad, I suddenly saw the truth to that cliche. It is an honor. It really is wonderful to be in the running. I'm hoping he'll win before it's over, and God knows, I think he would agree with this statement as well. What I really want to see is Rhea Seahorn get nominated for the fantastic job she does. And we're all sad that Michael McKeon didn't get more love for that magnificent portrayal he gave of Charles McGill. But that's not why any of these folks do it. It's not why I do it. But it's a wonderful cherry on top when it does come. And you never know when it's going to come, but it's great to be in the conversation. AV Club then says, You speak of Michael McKeon's performance in the past tense. Does that confirm that we've seen the last of Chuck McGill in the present tense? Vince Gilligan then states, Here's the beauty, well, laughs. You phrased that very well. As any fan of Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul knows, with our chronologically elastic form of storytelling that we employ, it's very possible to see characters who are dead in the present or long since deceased. You just never know when someone's going to pop up again. Very possible we'll see Charles McGill again. The best way I can put it, I have to be coy to a certain degree here, because I don't want to ruin any surprises for fans, is think back over the run of the series. Did we ever schmuck bait anybody or pull the rug out from under them at the beginning of a new season? I'm proud to say, laughs. The answer is no. It'd be very unlikely for us to do a Bobby Ewing thing where you see him get shot at the end of one season and see him in the shower at the beginning of the next season. We just don't tell stories that way. Reach your own conclusion from all of that. Then he laughs. So that's basically where the article ends there, discussing Michael McKeon and his character known as Chuck McGill. And just from my perspective and my beliefs, I basically think that right there, Vince Gilligan is just stating that he's not going to bamboozle the fans and try and pull some BS fakeout death with Chuck, just so we can see him again. I think he's emphasizing that, but also emphasizing the fact that we can certainly see him in some sort of flashback or different scene in the future. As we know with Better Call Saul in relation to Breaking Bad, there are a lot of varied chronological scenes here. Of course we have Gene at Cinnabon, which is shown at the start of about every season, but then it goes back to past characters that have been dead or that we know from Breaking Bad within the current time of the show. So there is some variation between the time regarding these scenes here, and it seems that Vince Gilligan is certainly open to having more scenes with Michael McKeon in the future if it does fit for the story. And that's one thing I love about Vince Gilligan. I feel like he wouldn't bring a character back just for fan service, but only if it fits 
for that scene or that storyline. So I definitely have a lot of faith in Vince Gilligan. I would love to see Michael McKeon return with some scenes as Chuck, just because of his fantastic performance throughout the series, and especially in Chicanery. That's one of my favorite TV acting moments of all time. Anyways, I just thought I would share this news with you guys in addition to telling some of my thoughts on this. I'm definitely excited for Season 4 of Better Call Saul, and it's just going to be amazing to see everything unfold and Vince Gilligan and Peter Gold's geniusness just happen. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like on it. That will encourage me to make more Better Call Saul videos in the future because I really love doing it and I want to see more people talking about this show because it deserves the credit. It doesn't get as much credit as it deserves and I think it's because it's a slow burn, but it runs with that slow burn with confidence. Even though the writers know people might stop watching because of the slow burn, they don't change their story because of that and that really takes a lot of balls and I definitely give them props on that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace out.